What is up guys and welcome to the support video. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up the Oculus Link the right way. And this is the option that gives you the ability to play VR games from your PC using your Quest. Now there's actually two ways to set up the Oculus Link. We're going to be going over how to set it up using a Link cable. We're going to talk about the requirements of what you're going to need. So by the end of this video, you'll know everything you need to know about using your Oculus Link the right way so you can have some awesome VR experiences. And as always, if you find this video enjoyable, informative, drop us a like and support the channel by subscribing. Now, right off the bat, one of the first things you're gonna need other than your quest, of course, to do the Oculus Link is going to be a cable. Now there is a wireless option. We're gonna cover that in another video. To use the Link with a cable requires a high quality USB cable capable of supporting both data and power. You'll also wanna make sure that the cable's at least about 10 feet long so you have the most comfortable gaming experience possible. Now, Oculus does provide a specific cable, but I found that if you just shop around Amazon, you'll actually find a cable that works extremely well and that will support both the data and power requirements. Also, I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video to the cable that I'm using. You can check that one out. But again, if you just shop around, I'm sure you'll find something for yourself that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. And as a side tip, the cable plugging into your computer doesn't have to be a USB-C cable to offer the full data transfer and power requirements. You can still use a regular USB to USB type C. You just want to make sure that the portion that's plugging into your Quest is of the USB type C variant. Also, importantly, you want to make sure that your PC is ready for VR. And one of the easiest ways to do this is to head over to Steam and download the Steam VR performance test PC requirements tool. This will scan your computer and actually let you know if your PC is good to go for VR. If it's not, it'll give you an idea of what your shortcomings are. And that way you can kind of address them. Now, again, in the description of this video i'm going to link the full requirements that oculus has on their website for both your pc requirements and your gpu requirements go ahead and take a look at that but again one of the easiest and best ways to know if you're ready to go is to download that tool from steam next you'll want to download the oculus app for pc by visiting oculus.com setup and clicking on the download software option the link for this will also be in the description of this video you also want to make sure that the oculus software both on your pc and headset are up to date now once you've got all of this downloaded and you found that your pc meets all the requirements let's head over to your computer and do some geeky stuff so you're getting the optimal experience while gaming from your pc first we're going to type in power in your search bar we're going to edit the pc power plan and change the advanced power settings usb settings and make sure that the usb selective suspend settings are disabled next we're going to type in device manager we're going to look for the universal serial bus controllers and just right click through that list and make sure all drivers are updated. Then we're gonna wanna open up the Quest application itself on your desktop, power on your Quest 2, plug the USB cable into a USB 3.0 port on your PC, Time out. How do you know if the USB port is 3.0? Well, you can actually check out this video for that information. Time in, then plug the other end into your headset. Go through the setup prompts on the PC app. A message will display on the VR headset prompting you to allow access. I usually just allow it. Then you're gonna get prompted for a message to enable Oculus Link. Select enable to begin remote rendering and you're good to go. But before we start that sweet, sweet VR gaming, there are a couple of settings that you should take a look at to make sure that your visual quality is where it needs to be. So now with your headset still connected and powered on, head over to the Oculus app on your PC. You're gonna select devices. You're gonna select the Quest 2. You're gonna scroll down to the advanced options. And let's take a look at the graphics settings. Now, this is completely dependent on your PC's capability. I would normally shoot for about 90 Hertz. If you can pull off 120, that is a great option. But again, it really depends on what your PC is capable of doing. I would say just play around with these settings and see where you're getting the smoothest frame rate and the best overall gaming experience and stick to that. Now, as a little pro tip on how I find the perfect settings for me, I usually start rendering the desktop application about 80 to 90 Hertz and positioning the slider to the far right. Just a reminder that the higher refresh rate require more processing power. So 120 Hertz at full slider right would require a supercomputer to render. Just keep 
adjusting until you find your sweet spot. Now for our second pro tip, we're gonna have to make some changes in the Oculus debug tool itself to beef up your visual quality. The debug tool can be found in your program files, Oculus support and Oculus diagnostics, or you can just copy and paste the path that's in the description of this video. If you install the Oculus software in its suggested default location, that should bring you right there. You're gonna double click on that debug tool, open it up. Now, once you have it open, there are a couple of things we're gonna take a look at. The first is the distortion curvature. Now this sets the curve at which the resolution is reduced in the peripherals. So ironically, the lower the setting is, the better the quality is. So I would shoot for low, try some of your gaming experiences. If everything is running smoothly, leave it at that setting and you're good to go. The next thing we're gonna take a look at is the encode resolution with Oculus Link works by sending a compressed data stream across your USB connection. This setting actually decides the resolution at which the video streams. This is one of those settings that really depends on what your computer can handle. My suggestion would be to start off somewhere around 3500 and work your way down from there. And then the last thing we're going to take a look at is the encode bit rate. Now this actually controls the amount of visual information that's sent to your headset per second. Again, I would start up at somewhere around 400 and work your way down until you find your sweet spot. The goal of these settings is really just to beef up your visual quality without affecting your overall gaming experience. So if you find it that it's lagging, if you find your frame rates dropping, try dropping the settings down just a little, try gaming. It's all about trial and error to make sure you're getting the best visual and gaming experience possible. Congratulations, you now know how to use your Oculus Link via a cable like an expert. You can teach others, you can refer them to this video, but now you can get out there and do some sweet, sweet VR gaming on your PC and know that it's doing it at its optimal performance. Guys, if you found this video informative, you found it helpful at all, support the channel by dropping us a like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this. There's also a support link in the description of this video if you have any questions that you want us to answer. If you have any technical support issues that you would like to shoot us, go ahead and drop us a question via that link. We'll be glad to help guys again thank you so much for checking out the video enjoy your link enjoy the vr and until i see you guys next time stay safe stay technical i'll see you later